Good afternoon, traders. This is Arcadia Trading, and I will be doing a QQQ and SPY market breakdown for you guys. And I might take a look at XLF and KRE as well. And so right now we're looking at the one hour time frame for QQQ. Essentially, after the Tuesdays, Bear couldn't follow through with their hourly downtrend. The bulls just took over. And once we've gone back above the 12 EMA, which is the teal looking line, you can see bulls have been in full control. And we tested it here once today, and we bounced right off of it. So as long as bulls stay above that, they are in full control. Even on the four-hour time frame, you can see we pretty much just shot straight up. So I'm still looking for a consolidation. Um, you can say this candle here is a consolidation. So if we do break above um, today's high, we would have a four-hour uptrend confirmed. And some people argue that uh, they want a candle below it, but argue that this could form a far uptrend as well if we do break today's high. And as of the daily time frame, there's no red flags. We have been um, in a daily uptrend for the last ever since um, for the last Monday. That's two weeks. Let me see. So this is a daily uptrend. Once we broke above this high. This was confirmed daily uptrend, so we're still in a daily uptrend. No red flag for the bulls at all, but the tomorrow is the last day of the month as well as last day of the quarter. So it's going to be a lot of um, rebalancing. And tomorrow we have PCE data in the morning, so that's going to be key as well. Um, because if inflation data comes in um, not as good, uh, obviously we'll have a pullback. So we're looking at, going to be watching that in the morning during pre-market. And another thing I'm watching is today um, and yesterday, we gapped up twice. So yesterday when we gapped up, the bulls follow through and we had a nice move uh, into close. But today we gapped up and we ended up closing within today's range. So that's um, it's not what the overnight... Uh, buyers want to see because they they want the cash open to push up higher and when the futures market starts um they can potentially take profit or go um or continue the bull move so it's going to be interesting tomorrow to see if we do see any bears show up or not as of now um bears are nowhere to be found um on this chart you can see uh this consolidation was he very healthy as well um so there's no Bears to be seen on the NASDAQ and QQQ. There's a little bit more on the SPY due to XLF, financial sector, and KRE being a lot weaker um, than other sectors. So you can see XLF here. Just got to delete that. So we had a decent four day bounce, and we also gapped up as well this morning. And it was all, all bears pretty much after the gap up. Was below the daily 12 EMA, and right now we are back to yesterday's range. So, um, we'll have to see if this weakness continues. Um, if this weakness continues, it weakens um, IWM as well. IWM has a lot of um, small cap holdings. So, I'm gonna go to KRU real quick, see how it looks like. So, this is the small, small regional banks. This is what the IWM is holding. And essentially, you can see how weak it is. We never gone back above 0 0.236, and we are still in this cluster of range in here. Um, we got another leg down. We are looking at testing the all-time low support, and we'll see if that the financial sector continues the weakness. If it does, um, it'll likely continue to drag SPY down. And if that keeps on going, um, we'll have to see if QQQ it's going to be able to hold up the SPY because, um, where is it? QQQ. Because for this entire move of this whole move that we had, um, when the, when the, uh, financial sector was weak, QQQ was holding up SPY with all this momentum. And if QQQ decides to take a break, um, after moving up so much, then spies is, is going to roll over too, due to it.
being held up a lot by uh, QQQ. So we'll have to be watching if KRE and XLF ends up testing the new lows or testing the prior lows, or we then end up making new lows. Um, if we do make new lows, um, there's likely going to be more fear coming into the market, and that could potentially um, put QQQ going from lead bull into lead beer. So QQQ and the semiconductor sector right now is the lead bull. So we'll see who's going to shift to who, or the financial sector may shift bull into um, joining QQQ and the semiconductor. So as of tomorrow, we'll see uh, what the last day of the quarter and the PC data tomorrow will look like. And I'll update you guys after that. Just need to find out where my button is so I can close this recording. Where was I? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll see you guys.